Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your April, first half of your April from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So uh, we, are to t t we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Um, you may... Uh, Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to. Uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links to those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing another giveaway where I'm get, this time I'm giving two free 30-minute uh, personal readings on Zoom with me. So if you guys are interested in uh, that giveaway, check out the details on how to enter on my YouTube community tab. I did post the details on there and I will announce the winners on April 12th, all right? So Capricorn, Capricorn, tell me about Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn in love and the person that they are connecting with? Tell me about Capricorn in love and the person that they are connecting with. For um, the... Uh, First half of their April from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Capricorn. So we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have the Four of Wands. King of Pentacles. Seems like you hit the lottery with this person here, or that you hit the lottery in love. There's stability, there's happiness here, there's balance, there, there's passion here with the five of wands. And they feel like there's people in and around your life that could be jealous of your relationship here, uh, Capricorn. Six of wands, but I feel like you don't care. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you don't care. Because whoever this is, this is hubby, wi hubby wifey material here with the two of cups and temperance we have the four of wands and the full aries energy aquarius energy i feel like when it comes to this relationship here aquarius i feel like not aquarius um capricorn i feel like you are you are having the time of your life right now i feel like you're really enjoying getting to know this person just getting the opportunity to develop and build something with this individual here king of pentacles and the knight of swords leaper aquarius gemini whoever this is i feel like this is someone here who's very honest here who's very transparent. I feel like this person really wants to be with you here, okay? Uh, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this is you right here. This person is really attracted to you. There's definitely a strong attraction to uh, between you and your person here. I do feel like this person likes that you are self-sufficient, that you're independent, and you're financially doing well here with the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Six of Wands and the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. This person's really in love with you. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this person could be realizing that or that you could be realizing that. What else do we have here for Capricorn? The person that Capricorn is dealing with, thinking of, or dealing with, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn for the first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th? So uh, we have the Empress, Libra Taurus. This person definitely sees you very highly here. They see growth and expansion here with you. They see you carrying their ch child here. You know, I mean, someone here could be pregnant. I do feel like this is someone that you've been dealing with for quite a while here, Capricorn. We have Justice, Libra Energy. We have the Seven of Swords, okay? Six of Pentacles. Seems like this person, I feel like more so with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like this person is just really protective of you, really protective of this relationship here. And I feel like between you and your person, I just feel like this person's like, just kind of like living the dream here with you. 
Yeah, I feel like this is like a very satisfying connection. I feel like this person's really loyal to you, very committed to you here with the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Justice, and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person's just really committed to you and really loyal to you. And I feel like this person will do everything that they can to protect you, even if they have to sacrifice themselves. I feel like this person just wants everything good for you. Yeah, uh, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person you know, tends to keep you very safe here, okay? I do feel like there is a relationship that you're in that's going pretty well here, I would say. Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Ten of Swords. You know, I feel like how this person views this relationship or that what, what they want out of it is that anytime there's any sort of issues that happen, like, this person will never walk away. They want to stick around and resolve things here with you, okay? The lovers with the Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here? And the Star card. Yeah, it's no denying that this person sees you very highly here. This person sees you as the one. The Star card and the High Priestess. Yeah, and I feel like you might know that this person's the one for you, okay? What else? Uh, Cancer Pisces. What else do we have for, for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for work on for the first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs with it, Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Oh, the Death card, Scorpio Energy, the Knight of Wands, Knight, not Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> I almost get that. I almost feel like this person feels like they don't deserve you. I feel like this person's definitely pinching themselves. Like, I feel like this person just not, just can't believe how lucky they got here with you, okay? The Five of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Emperor Aries energy. With the Empress and Empress here, we have some true pairs here. Yeah, I just feel like this person feels like they don't deserve you, and they feel like this person cannot believe how lucky they got here. Uh, Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Because I feel like this person has definitely been through a lot, because I feel like this person has been through some sort of childhood traumas here. And, you know, I feel like this person definitely transcended, you know, their pain and their trauma, or that this person could be holding on to it. Or, that st or still is dealing with it or working on it, but they're not running around hurting other people. So that's why I say that this person has transcended that. You know, th there is a saying that hurt people hurt other people, but you know, there are people out there that are hurt, but they're not running around hurting people. And I feel like this is this person here with the Page of Cups. I do feel like this person is definitely like very mature. This person is very kind. This person is very sweet. This person is very fun, adventurous, spontaneous here. The Nine of Wands and the Five of Pentacles here. This person's insecurities are definitely coming up a little bit here. Yeah, I do feel like they feel like they don't deserve you because I feel like this person has been spoken to that way all their life. Ace of Swords here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And the Three of Pentacles and the Sun. But whatever this person has been through, you don't care. You just love this person for who they are. Okay, so um, Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.